So this is our stabbing. Now I'm going to prepare it as I said in a slightly different way to the um, uh, tailor, but the pelleting process will be absolutely exactly the same. Now as you can see the stabbing is a much chunkier fish, a much chunkier animal. Uh, it's not like the uh, tailor which is rather slender. This, this has a lot of flesh on it. So I'm going to go ahead and in a similar manner. I'm going to work my way down that backbone. Okay, so there we have the one fillet. Okay, that's the one fillet. Now there's a lot of work to be done on that. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take off the second fillet. There we have the two salmon fillets. And as you can see over there, we have the salmon. Uh, so as I said, as well. I'm gonna come back to my salmon fillets because we are far from done. There's a few more things which I want to do with it. Number one, I want those bones off. So I'm gonna go right underneath over here to where that rib cage is. And I want to take that rib cage out. So that's where the major part of your bones are. And I just want to feel along to see if I can feel any other bones. And I can feel a few bones up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to take them out there we go just with my fingers now you do get, get like a special plier as well which i do not have we can just use it with new plier there we go there's not much in that all right now the very important thing which which i'm going to do with this is i'm going to go ahead i'm going to skin this so what you have to do you have to sacrifice a little bit of that Take it all the way to the end. And then what you want to do, try your best. Doesn't always work, I know. But you want to try your best to lift that skin off the flesh, or to lift, lift the flesh off the skin. Normally what I'll do, just try and get a good grip underneath over there. it all the way till the end okay let's see how we've done we've done okay okay so that there is the um skin off the fish and that there as you can see it's got this very dark um flesh to it now that's what tastes really really fishy and that's what actually uh, puts people off eating aussie salmon so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to trim all of that darker flesh off so we left only with the lighter flesh. Now that I have my fillets out, they've been um, deboned, de-skinned, de-everything. I've even managed to take out much of the red part of the flesh because there's a small amount left, that's okay. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut them up into bite-sized pieces. All right, because mainly it's kids eating and myself like that. That's one bite-sized piece. So, so there we have it these are um, bite sized okay so um, now I'm going to make a batter and this is a wet batter and I'm going to make the most simplest of batter all you need is some flour so I'm going to pop in some flour over here I don't need that much because 
I don't have that much fish. Should be enough. In fact, I think that's too much. And then I'm going to pop in some salt as well. I don't measure anything, I just think oh, that, that should be enough. Then I'm going to mix up the salt and um, the flour. Then I'm going to make a little well in the middle. All right, and I'm going to pour in my cold water. This water needs to be cold. Okay, and then I'm going to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to whisk everything up gently. Right, more water as I go along. All the while, while that's happening, my oil is heating up. So put some oil in the pan, these uh, fish bites will be deep fried, and yeah, I've got all my fish, I'm just simply going to just pour all of my fish into that batter, I'm going to mix it around, and you can work um, by hand from this point forward, and has need to be obviously nice and clean. Right. Pieces of salmon. And I'm going to throw it. Make sure that it's fully coated. And I'm going to put it there in the oil. So um, they've been in for a while now, so uh, I've tested out one over there, and as you can see that's what you want. But inside is beautiful, it's beautiful, and the fish is cooked to perfection. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out this first batch of, um, of salmon bites. Now, if you, got, you cannot get more fresh than that. We went out last night, ran out this morning, we caught this fish, they were in the, in the fridge only for a few hours, and then we cook them up, and they are beautiful. Look, now we have our salmon over here, the salmon bites. And look at that, pure white flesh. That is beautiful.